Okay, so I'm back in Trevor Training Ops, only this time I am in decoupled mode, and that means that instead of always walking in the same direction that I'm looking, I can now walk one way and look any way that I like. And this is really cool because it's never been feasible in a first person game before. Going all the way back to, as far as I can remember, playing video games, Doom back in the 90s. The character's head has always been locked to its body. So you can only go either forward, backwards, or strafing at a 90 degree angle. You can never walk forwards and look around, or walk in an arc and look around. And I guess that's limited game design over the years. And the reason it's been like that from my understanding is that our bodies have their own natural positional tracking which means that you know subconsciously which way your body is pointing relative to your to your head and your other limbs so if you're sat down and you're playing a video game and the TV's in front of you your body and head are always facing the same way so that's the signal that you're getting subconsciously and so you need your character to be doing the exact same thing, always looking the way that they're facing. If you try and rotate the character's body away from the direction of their head, that conflicts with what your own body is telling you and it becomes impossible to remember and keep track because you can't see your character's body. It might be possible in the third person, but not the first person. So this level is, or well, this part of the level is really testing my accuracy and speed. Because if I let those targets get behind me before I shoot them, the shields come up. But the uh, second level that I'll be showing you in a little bit really takes great advantage of, uh, of the decoupled looking and moving. Something that's never really been experimented with uh, with games in the past as I was just explaining. Another thing that you might have noticed from recent videos is that the stopping latency has much improved, which is really useful for sections like that and some of the other ones coming up where you need to stop without any latency, otherwise your character would move forward and uh, get hit by one of those laser beams. So for a hardcore gamer, decoupled takes a little bit of getting used to because, as I said, we've been conditioned to expect our characters uh, moving and looking directions to be locked together. But I do feel that it is the more intuitive way of playing. In fact, I've seen I've seen people try the Omni who've never played a game before in their lives, and if you gave them a gamepad or a keyboard. They just wouldn't know what to do with it, but because walking and running is so natural to us, and if you give them the, an HTC Vive controller as well, all they have to do is point their weapon in the direction of the targets or the enemies, and they can play the game just as well as a hardcore gamer. And that doesn't mean that it isn't challenging. Trevor Training Ops has been designed to really test your ability to take advantage of these new motion schemes. So that won't be the case for every game you play, especially legacy games and maybe some VR games that uh, weren't made with the, the Omni in mind. You'll still benefit from the uh, sim sickness protection. and a greater sense of immersion and presence and, and fun that comes with doing this just as if you were really living out the experience. It's something that you can't get sitting down. I know I've tried, I've used this and I've gone back to using a, a gamepad and a keyboard and just could not get into, into the game. 
which is why I was very happy when I got selected to be on the Pathfinder program and get my Omni a little bit earlier. See, I'm really excited to see what other developers will do with this this new motion control scheme. It's, uh, it's something that's never been fully explored in the past. The closest I can remember getting to Decoupled was playing DayZ, which was a mod of Armatura, a military simulator. And there, at least, you could hold down a button to lock your character's movement in one direction and then use the mouse to look around, but you would be stuck going in that one direction. You couldn't walk in an arc. As I said before, that would just be incredibly confusing and conflict with our own sense of which way we're facing. So again, this is a real test of the latency of the IMU pods. I have to stop in between these laser beams, otherwise I take damage. And I do not have a lot of space. There's very little room for error here. But I did it. <laughs> okay, that was the first level. It is so much fun to have your view decouple from your body. It's kind of like uh, you've been liberated. All right. So you do have to recalibrate the uh, the headset and the Omni from time to time, and that's because the uh, the headset that I'm using at the moment is a developer kit, and it does not have positional tracking yet, unlike the consumer version. So the headset does suffer from a little bit of rotational drift, but that is not likely to be a problem with the final release hardware. So yeah, this level is, uh, is quite challenging. I'm often being attacked from multiple sides, so I cannot afford to stand still the way I normally would or just move in a straight line and I have to be very aware of, of my surroundings in case I miss some targets or some enemies So this section is a really good example of the power of, of decoupled. I have to keep moving because this flame thrower turret is, is turning. But the targets are on my left. So I kind of have to look one way while I'm, I'm really going another. And that is something that takes practice if this is not something that you do in real life if you don't go to uh, to firing ranges. I really like this section of the level because you can see it is, is so much bigger than the previous levels. And you get that sense of scale that's only possible in, in virtual reality. Everything is, is life size. It's like, it's like I've been transported to some underground, huge underground facility. And the longer you play, the easier it is to forget where you were when you started the game, you know, your real surroundings.
So it really is amazing that the Omni does not take up that much space and yet it gives you an infinite amount of space to play in. Again, this is another point where decoupled is, is useful because it's easier to see where I am relative to the lasers if I look out to my side. And of course I want to make progress at the same time. Being able to check out your surroundings while you're making progress will take evasive action something that I'm just not used to, but I'm having to learn. Whoa. That was better. I just needed to calm down and steady my aim. You see so many uh, projectiles coming at you, it's quite intense. It's not like playing on a regular display where everything is, is shrunk down and you feel that safety that comes from seeing your, your living room all around you. I have no sense of safety. I am really in this environment. As far as my senses can tell. That was amazing. You gotta try it. So long. See you next time.